Welcome to the clubhouse of Tom's River. We are joined in our store today by Gianna Marie. Take it away, Gianna. <laughs> Alrighty. This first song is called Best Friend. <laughs> Thank you once again so much for being here at the Clubhouse of Tom's River, which is, of course, a marketplace for local artists and a concert venue for musicians all over New Jersey. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. So I recognize that last song off of the record that I listened to on Spotify. Uh, can you remind me of the name of that again? Yeah, so it's called With Kindness. With yeah. Kindness. Um, and while listening to that uh, for the last few days, I kind of pieced together that um, your music is a lot more than what you're putting forward right now and what you put forward the last time that you played at the clubhouse. I guess you're the only time you played at the clubhouse. Mm -hmm. um, do you typically play solo or have you ever played with all of like the extra stuff that's on the record? Um, so I usually play solo. I've played like a few times with like a lead guitarist, but mm -hmm. that was like the most I've ever played, you know, live. Um, so when I created the album, like I wanted to add, you know, a little bit more fun things. So you definitely get something different when you're listening versus like yeah, seeing me play live. It absolutely was a real treat because mm -hmm. I only remember what you sounded like here when you right. played in the same kind of setting as we are right now. And I, I heard all this, all these drums and again, like yeah. guitar when there was some ukulele in there, right? Or, um, I don't think there no? was any ukulele, but it, it might've sounded like maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. but I remember like really, really getting behind some of like the, um, backtracking mm -hmm. and I really loved it. Can you tell us a little bit about the recording of that record? Uh, sure. If I can remember. Um, so I started that process probably exactly a year ago, but December. Um, and I had like all these songs I had written from like high school 
And so I knew I wanted to put together like a bigger piece because I knew all those songs were from high school and going forward after that, I wanted to kind of make it like a new, different thing. So I don't know if that makes sense, but so I wanted to record everything that I had already written just to kind of have a clean slate after that had been, you know, released. So, so that's kind of what I did. <laughs> so this was your first release? Yeah. This is my yeah. First and how was that like the, the launch of that record? It was exciting for me because I'd never released my music. I'd been writing all this music for since I'm like 14. Mm -hmm. So like to put it out and share it with people was kind of, I guess, scary for me um, at first. But then I got like really nice feedback. So I was happy. And was all that, all, were all those backing tracks you or did you have uh, some musicians join you on that record? Um, so my friend Rob Sharapa, he's also from The Stolen, which is a local band in New Jersey. Um, he produced my whole entire record. So all the backing tracks, all the, everything that you hear that's not my vocals was him. So. Right, absolutely. I'll have to look him up yeah. because the yeah. production on your record is, is I mean, there's a lot of really great things that are on there, but the production mm -hmm. was something that I absolutely took, yeah. took a liking to. So that, that's great to hear that there's a name to it and they're on yeah. the New Jersey music scene. So I'll yeah. absolutely look them up. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. You can get into your next song. Okay. So this one's called Everything and Nothing. to lay in your bedroom for hours and hours tell you all the things that never really mattered i'd hold on to you just carry you tightly the way i wish you'd held my heart before it shattered now i'm breaking i feel the me breaking i could see that you're doing the same thing i don't think it's safe quick one. <laughs> that's great. So uh, I feel like a recurrent segment that's um, happening on this show is that I love to ask people their experience of the New Jersey music scene. Um, I love to ask some of the people that have been here long before me what it was like back then. So I'm going to ask you something that I really don't know about. What is the scene like for a singer-songwriter? Because that's something that I absolutely don't really know about. Right. Um, so I feel like it's a little harder for singer-songwriters. Um, like, all the shows that I've mostly been put on are with, like, full set bands, you know what I mean? Like, electric bands. So I always feel kind of, like, random <laughs> with my little, like, acoustic act. Um, like, whereas if you go to Nashville, like, there's writer rounds everywhere, you know what I mean? Like, on every quarter, there's a writer's round. So 
there's I don't really feel like there's a lot of that here so I kind of have to find like you know open mics or like coffee shops like those are kind of the closest thing I have where I feel kind of you know where I fit in a little bit more so it's still like a process of finding these spots you know they're not really like here here's this come play here you know what I mean it's not really I feel like it's not as easy for a singer songwriter have you ever got a chance to play Nashville I did I played in Nashville um, two times before when I visited this past summer and then the summer before um, they kind of have it set up where like you can just play anywhere like you don't have to they have like a bunch of open mic style like right around so you can kind of just go in there sign up and then you know you get to play I played at the Bluebird um, the last few times which was really awesome that was kind of like a crazy thing um, like Taylor Swift played there so that was like my biggest That's awesome. you know um, yeah one of my one of my dreams to play there so like that was a really cool experience is there a certain type of bill um, in New Jersey that you feel you fit on more than others like a certain style of music um, hmm. That's kind of hard to say. I don't know. I kind of I play at random places. Like I'll play with big bands, or I'll play with like rappers. Like it, like it, all different kinds of shows. It's just kind of wherever that, I can fit in and mm -hmm. kind of play my thing. Yeah. And I guess like a quick follow up <laughs> to that would be: Is there a particular um, show or um, like maybe a, a particular band that you really love to play with that's on the scene in New Jersey? Um, I'm trying to think. I've played with some bands a few times. Um, well, the last time I was here, I played with Kelly, which mm -hmm. was really fun because she had um, her full band here. So I played with her so many times. So that's like who I can think of that I've played a lot of shows with. I've also played with Pollyanna a few times. So those are, you know, a few people I know that I've played with a lot. That's fun. <laughs> All right. Awesome. You can take it in your next song. All right. This song is called Chivalry. <laughs> He's got everything inside of him that 
That was great. <laughs> All right, so I feel like I didn't plan on asking you this, but uh, during a quick uh, break we had earlier, mm -hmm. I asked you about influences, and you said Julian Michaels. Is yeah. it Michaels or Michael? Michaels, yeah. I, I think she's amazing. <laughs> so I wanted to go more in uh, into more detail about your influences, and mm -hmm. specifically your vocal techniques. D do you know, did that come from anywhere? Because I find your, your vocals so fascinating and, and so unique for um, what you're doing. Um, do you have any influences there? Um, so I've been singing since I'm like little. Mm -hmm. um, like music's kind of my family. My dad plays guitar, my grandma plays piano, and you know my uncle plays. So it's kind of just always been there. So I've always been singing. I took lessons probably in like elementary school and like third grade. <laughs> so that was really all the lessons that I got. Everything else I kind of just, you know, I'm like this is what I got, like I don't know. <laughs> so um, yeah, but speaking of Julia Michaels, like um, I would say like she's probably one of my top influence Influencers, influencing. And I really <laughs> see that on your record. Like, really, when you play in this small acoustic way, mm -hmm. I would be like, oh, she's great. I mm -hmm. wouldn't really see um, her music in you, but mm -hmm. really on that record, when you really bring all the drums and all the um, other backing tracks in, I, I do right. uh, see that, 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 that similarity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, with, especially with her, like, her songs always sound kind of like happy. Meanwhile, she's talking about something that's like, sad. you know, sad or, or something that like means a lot to her. So I kind that's kind of how I like relate to her on that note. So I try to make my song sound kind of like, oh, this is awesome and fun. But, you know, I'm talking about something that's right. like, and, maybe not. <laughs> and in your, back to your vocal range real quick, mm -hmm. do you have any ties or at least like, did you listen to Dolly Parton at all when you were younger? Because I hear that in your voice. <laughs> that's really funny you say that because I cover Jolene like all the time. <laughs> One I next time you play at the song. clubhouse, I would love to hear that because <laughs> yeah. I hear that in your voice and that is so funny. <laughs> it's yeah, it's it's but it's it's such a cool part of of your of your your music. So thank you. Yeah, all right, you can take it in your next song. Okay, um, so this next song is called Muse. thinking about all the different questions I could ask you and I had this very very difficult question about how the decade is ending and I wanted to hear your opinions on music in the past decade 
But I don't bring these questions up with the people I'm interviewing prior to me asking them. And really thinking about that, that would be insane to be like, tell me something about music in the past 10 years that you loved. So I want to ask you, because earlier you said that you've been playing since you were 14, right? Mm -hmm. or, well, yeah. And how old are you now? Writing since I'm 14. I'm 19. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So in the past 10 years, I guess it would be um, really less than that. <laughs> but what is one of your best moments in music in the past, I guess, five years that you've been doing this for? Mm, um, I would say probably releasing my first album. That was like kind of a milestone for me. That's like, you know, it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> um, so that's probably my, you know, that would be my, my big thing <laughs> that I did <laughs> that I'm really proud of. So Awesome. Yeah. And as the 2010s come to an end and the 2020s start, mm -hmm. what can we see coming from Gianna Marie? Um, I'm working on like a new sound. Um, I mean, not extremely different, still my style, but just kind of want to go in a little bit of a different direction. Um, I feel like I, you can still hear that like high schooler in, in all of these songs that I have out. So I kind of want to take it to, I guess like a little bit more mature, um, sound. So, um, hopefully I'll be releasing like a few singles this year. Um, nothing like a huge project like I just um, dropped, but just a few singles, hopefully, soon, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Gianna Marie, thank you again so much for joining us in the clubhouse. Please take it into your last song. All right, this song is called Losing It. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Ask me to dance in my kitchen At midnight alone when no one's watching One hand on my back and the other in my hand We act like we know what we're doing In reality we don't, but what's so wrong with pretending so much for watching another clubhouse hangout please remember to subscribe to us on youtube gianna marie thank you for joining us thank you so much for having me you made it Woo! wait what's what what's your percentage